It is very early, so right now it's 5.05. .05. So today we are actually working two flights. We are going Dallas to Miami, I believe, Miami to Cancun, where we have a nice 15 hour layover. You guys, I've not been to Cancun since like right before furlough. It was like one of my last layovers before I got furloughed, so I'm excited. I think this is going to be a good one, but with that being said, I'm gonna pack my stuff up, get inside, get checked in, get through security, and I will see you guys inside. <laughs> Good morning. So I just made it through the security line. It seems like it's busy. Yeah, y'all came to play on 4th of July weekend. So right now I'm in Terminal C. So we're gonna go take the Skylink over to Terminal A and go to our gate. Don't force me out of bed in your society. Don't push me down the road you're been down. Don't try to fix my head. It's just your anxiety. Don't hush me now because I just... So the captain just informed us that this plane was in the hangar for the last three days and it is having engine issues so we cannot take it so already the beginning of our morning is exciting <laughs> okay hello everybody so in the video that you are watching right now everything is about to hit the fan a little bitty spoiler alert for you but before that happens i actually wanted to give you a little bit of calm before the storm with some great news so if you like free money then today's sponsor is for you so today's video is actually being sponsored by drop and Drop is a free app that rewards you for shopping at your favorite places by giving you points back. And these points can be redeemed for free gift cards. And this just includes shopping at your normal favorite brands like grocery stores, tech and gadget, cosmetic stores, clothing stores, and so many more. So you can start earning points by linking a debit and or credit card. And this unlocks exclusive card linked offers. You can also shop on the app at over 400 top brands, including Trader Joe's, Target, Uber, Starbucks, and so many more. You can also play a drop game in the drop arcade, as well as do any of these surveys inside of the app, and this will all get you points, which in turn is free money. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you on my phone to show you just how easy it is to use drop. So let me go ahead and screen record. Three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the drop app, and then once it is opened, Go ahead and exit out of that. We're gonna go to the card down below, but as you can see on the shop, there's tons of places you can shop here with different offers as well, but we're gonna go down to the bottom and click the card. So this is where you can actually get card linked offers. Now, as you can see from the top, I already have four offers that I know I'm going to absolutely use. So you just add that little plus button, like here where you see the Uber and that plus button, you can just click it so it goes in there. But as you can see from my linked offers up here, I actually have Starbucks, y'all know. I have two different Starbucks on here because y'all know. Yeah, no, I love me some Starbucks, but I also have Target and Kroger because those are places I absolutely love. So this allows me to cash in in store or on the app at these places. So with Kroger, when I spend $250, I will earn a thousand points, which that is so easy to do because then you're just buying groceries like you normally would anyways. And then down below, you can see the games that you can do to earn yourself points. There's surveys over here. And then also you can go all the way to the far right and you see your rewards that you can then redeem for all sorts of gift cards that you can use at other places depending on how many points that you collect. So do not wait, go down to my description box below and click the link and that way you can download the Drop app on the App Store or on Google Play and use my code NESBIT so that way you can get 10,000 extra points after you have already earned your first thousand points using in-app offers. So this is the equivalent of getting 10 dollars extra for free for you so thank you so much to drop for sponsoring this video now let's get back into the chaos <laughs> a lot has happened welcome to my layover we are finally here in san juan puerto rico i know what you're thinking right now you're like cat i thought you were staying in cancun and the answer to that is i did too so basically 
basically we had a lot go down, like go down, down. So let me go ahead, show you the room, change my clothes. We are meeting up with the entire flight attendant crew, which I absolutely love, and are going to the beach in about 30 minutes or so. So I have 30 minutes to change and tell you guys how insane this day has been. I know I'm hyping it up, but you're gonna be like, wow, that is insane. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Okay, so to kick us off, we actually have a full living room with me and then our little kitchenette set up. And then we go over here and have our bathroom. I know, is there a light? So here, what is that? Oh no, what is that? Okay, I don't know what that was, but we'll ignore it. And then here is our room. So we just have the one big comfy bed. Okay, and here is our fabulous view. It's actually very, very pretty. So it looks like this is gonna be our closet. So let's go ahead and get our stuff put away, get changed, and we can talk. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't gonna fit with the safe right there, but we are swinging. <laughs> Okay, so I know my hair is a little bit wild and crazy. Just bear with me. I'm not about to do my whole hair just to go down to the beach. But here's basically what happened. So on that first flight, last time I talked to you, I was like, hey, we have a maintenance delay. This plane is no good. We have to get a new plane. So we had to go plane swap. So they had to take all of the catering from our original plane and put it onto the new plane. Plus there was a warning light that came on. So we were on a maintenance delay for that. So while we were wrapping that up, we actually ended up having an in-flight medical emergency. Now I have to give the biggest credit to my crew as well as my trainers you guys there is a reason that flight attendants are certified and we are trained to handle these situations it was like all of my training just came flush back I was ready to go so basically what happened is a man became unconscious and slouched over in his chair passengers were kind of calling and I, as soon as I saw it I jumped on it I immediately ran over I yelled my code that we are supposed to yell the other flight attendants heard me they grabbed the equipment came Came over I had passengers help me get the man onto the ground we called for medical assistance and informed the pilot as well as basically we did all of the steps that we are supposed to do that we are trained to do now I'm not gonna go through everything with you but I will say that I am just so proud of the company that I work for and just the training that we go through because you know sometimes like it's very repetitive and you're like why am I doing this again but you guys they make it second nature to you it's it's as if I didn't miss a beat it's like as soon as I saw it I knew exactly like how to respond and that's why people were like oh my god you guys did so good I feel so good in your hands I'm so proud and the doctors helped and it was just tremendous and you know I really kind of stepped back and I was like, dang, your girl is a really good flight attendant. And you know, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit because I am dang good at my job. I am very good at my job. I'm very good at calming down passengers. I'm very good with people and talking to people, making them laugh, making a bad situation actually kind of funny. But I am also your safety official on board. So besides just being able to have fun with you and cater to you, serve you drinks and enjoy it, laugh and do all that, like I am there actually for your safety and today it kind of just proved it and I was like I was I was just proud I was proud like claps all the way around the board like everybody on my crew was on it you guys so that got handled well the guy did end up being a-okay so I'm glad that that happened but after we went into the two maintenance delays we were very delayed on top of the medical which it happens I mean it's life it happens but because we were so delayed in air crew scheduling actually had completely changed around our trip so instead of going from Miami down to Cancun we ended up going Miami to San Juan we have a 14 hour layover here so our trip ended up being a lot longer. We're not getting back for 4th of July so early, but that's okay, you know? Everybody was okay. So despite everything, we are now in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we are gonna go enjoy it with a fabulous crew that I am so proud to be a part of. And yeah, let's go to the beach. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would We have officially made it to the beach and it's it's chill but also popping. There's a lot of people here. So I am here with my entire crew. Hello everybody. 
I told them thank you because this does not happen. It's very, very rare, very rare, especially mainline for the entire crew, minus the pilots, they don't count, <laughs> to go out together. But you guys, this is lovely and I think the sun is setting. <laughs> water on the land so I'm so sorry if it's blurry I tried to wipe you guys off but the sun is starting to set it's beautiful the water feels amazing it feels absolutely great we got in there somebody <laughs> hey that's my number one fan <laughs> So they actually knew who I was ahead of time. But yeah, it feels great. It's great. The sun is setting. It is gorgeous. The water feels phenomenal. The crew is I. They're all right. They're not my favorite, but they're all right. <laughs> it's great. They're as great as my hair is right now. But yeah, I think we're going to chill and then get dinner and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hungry? Yeah. I'm going to take my biggest fan out to dinner. <laughs> An amazing crew an amazing time we actually went from the beach over to a restaurant the footage is gonna be a little sketchy I'll just be honest with you it was a little sketchy because it was super super dark and I didn't bring my lighting set up and I think my camera was actually in the wrong setting I'm so sorry you guys but the food was okay I'm not gonna recommend it based on the food the food was just okay but the view up top is beautiful because you can actually watch the sunset from right up there it's rooftop so that part was absolutely beautiful but now I am back in my hotel room I'm starting to charge up my tablet and my watch right now it looks like it is 9 35 so the shuttle time tomorrow I believe is at 7 15 which means we have a 6 15 wake up time <laughs> Ooh, not my favorite. So I guess I'm gonna start winding down, getting my stuff cleared, wash my face, and I will see you guys way too early. <laughs> On inside of our embassy, everything we need right here. Make me sing along, sing along. I ain't never thought I'd ever be stuck by you. Ooh. I ain't never thought I'd ever be stuck by you. Good morning, you guys, and happy Independence Day. Obviously, this is coming to you a little bit late, but today is the 4th of July, so I'm interested to see exactly how the airport is going to be. Um, I started kind of getting myself together a little bit, not completely. I'm running a little slow this morning, but you guys know I don't generally drink the coffee in the room. I don't like it. I just kind of avoid it at all costs, but today I think I'm going to dive into it. Give, give me, hold on, here's why. So I came over to the coffee machine and they have Puerto Rican coffee. And I don't know if I'm gonna find coffee somewhere and so I kinda wanna just take the risk. They also have these creamers, which I love way more than those half and half ones. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and brew myself a cup. Hopefully I can still find some coffee like at the airport or somewhere else, but at least this can get my day started. <laughs> because if you guys know anything about me, I can't start in the morning. I can't deal with people until I've had my coffee. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm guessing the pot, whoopsie. I'm guessing our pod goes here. Is the water back here? Okay, so the water goes back there. So I think I got this. <laughs> I woke up before my alarm this morning. It's been happening to me quite a bit. Anytime that I have like one of these like early, early ones, I'm like, you guys, I have to wake up every five seconds to make sure that I'm not gonna miss anything. Okay, okay, it's turning brown. It looks a little like tea, but I think it'll, I think it'll be all right. To give in where you wanna go, where you wanna go. So let's all ignore my haggard hair. I just, I just had to brush it out. 
So um, the coffee is fantastic, but I kind of wanted to go over the flights today while my little curly wand heats up. It's kind of dumb that I have curly hair and I'm about to use a curly wand. I mean, it's a little bit of a different curl pattern, so you know, but kind of dumb. Anyways, today we are working two flights. We are going from San Juan up to Philly. We have a three hour set before we have to catch a deadhead. So then we are deadheading from Philly back to Dallas. When, when you fill out that questionnaire, when you are applying and it says, are you willing to work weekends and holidays? Honey, guess what you are going to be working? Weekends and holidays, even at like some senior status. You can hold some of them off, but a lot of them you're gonna be working. So just be honest with yourself. When you apply to this job, if you really want this job, be honest, are you gonna be okay with being away from your family on holidays? Cause it's very, 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 very likely. But let's go ahead and start fixing this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much ready. I just gotta get my suitcase down right there, but hopefully it's gonna be a really good day. I have a good feeling about today. Hopefully everybody's in a good mood. It's a nice little holiday. They get where they need to go and there's no delays or nothing. So yeah, all right, let's get our stuff together and go downstairs. <laughs> Okay, so we just got onto the plane. We're gonna do our pre-flights, put everything away. This is a full flight and a long one. I think it's like four hours or something. Don't have the exact flight time yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my crew duties and I will see you guys in Philly. <laughs> So this two-day has four-day energy, like bad four-day energy. We ended up having <laughs> another medical emergency on the plane. The guy is okay. There was a doctor on board to help us out. And once again, like kudos to us because we were on it. I'm, I'm just, we did good. <laughs> but it is a long day. So we have one more flight left. We are deadheading from Philly down to Dallas and that is it. But right now we just actually stopped at Smashburger over here and got some food and then we'll be on our way. Okay, so we are getting onto the plane right now. We got upgraded to first class. <laughs> so I will see you guys in Dallas. So I am finally landed in DFW. So it is 6.45 right now. A lot later than I was supposed to be here originally, but everything was good. The deadhead was good. I got a little bit of sleep. I was like catching flies with my mouth open. <laughs> but yeah, let's get going. I am tired. I'm telling y'all, this two day had four day energy all over it, but the crew was just perfection. So let's go now. <laughs> so I just got home and got all nicely changed into some comfy clothes. Said hi to the babies. Hi, baby. Oh, she's jealous. Hi, Mosey. You want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? You say hi to your friends? Hi. Say hi. <laughs> Chippy has an awful sunburn on his forehead right now. And I don't know if he wants to show off those tan lines because they're real bad. <laughs> He said no, they're real bad. He has like a whole hat line. But um, we're gonna go ahead and order some food. We're gonna find something very American to order <laughs> for her 4th of July. So hopefully we'll get like wings or hot dogs or something. <laughs> so our food just showed up and we went ham. This is a bunch. So we got their little appetizer sample at Pluckers as well as 15 different wings. So we did honey barbecue, lemon pepper, and one of the spicy flavors, I forgot what it's called. And then this comes with a sampler as well, and this is their hallelujah flavor. So we are about to grub, because I am hungry. Because <laughs> I'm so hungry. So we're gonna eat some wings and go down in the all-American fashion. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.